Hello guys, my name is Stealthy Striker and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Nightwing number 82, the fourth part of um, Nightwing Leaping into the Light by Tom Taylor with art by Bruno Redondo. So, uh, as usual, I will be reading through the comic and giving my thoughts at the end, but I will be giving my thoughts on each panel as we go through the book. And I might be reading some speech bubbles and summarizing as well in case you don't want to look at it and you just want to listen to it while you're doing something else. Uh, I've really been enjoying this series so far, and I'll be showing the panels on screen as I read through the book in person. So let's get into it. So, when we flip to the first page, um, Grayson... So it's just been revealed last issue. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it for number 81. But uh, she's just taken off his mask and revealed that uh, she is Melinda Zuko is his sister. Grayson says, my sister, I've studied my family history. I know if my father had another child. Why? He didn't. He? Oh no. I need my mask. I think your secret identity might be blown by now. It's not that. I have to stop something. Oracle, Nightwing, are you okay? I'm okay. Call off what it ever rescue is about to take place. Bab says, they attacked you. Grayson responds with, they defended themselves from a masked man who broke into their home. And Oracle says, this is Oracle, stand down. And then on the next page, we see that Donna Troy, uh, well, Oracle says, Big Bird Extraction Protocol is canceled. And Donna shows up, a member of the Titans, along with the rest of the Titans, Starfire, Cyborg, Raven, Beast Boy. It's really nice that they came. Even Batman came. And you can just see that they all had hurried to save Dick, which is a really nice moment. Um, I guess after KGB's, no one wants to lose Dick again. So the entire Titans, and even Batman, flew out to uh, help Grayson if necessary. It's a really nice moment in this book. And now that he's done that, um, great. we cut back to Grayson and his sister. And um, he says, all right, we're good. His sister responds with, what was that? I'm guessing you almost had a building full of very protective superheroes. And Grayson says, now we should talk. And Zuko says that... Um, what he needs to hear would be better coming from someone else who was upstairs. And he says, she also says, let's get you changed first, unless you're happy to share your secret identity with more people today. Grayson asks, who am I meeting? And Zuko says, my mother. He, uh, so it says, oh, wait, no, this is part five of Leaping to the Light. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is five. I brain fart. Um. She says, my God, it's like looking back in time. You look so much like John. You have the same kindness in your eyes. And there's Mary shining in that beautiful Romani smile. I'm glad that they've actually acknowledged that the Romani heritage thing is still canon. I was pretty unsure about that. What have you told him, Melinda? Only who I am to him. I thought it would be get best coming from you, of course. Dick Grayson. My name is May Lee Lynn. Please sit. So I do like the fact that... um. There is some Asian connection in this to Grayson. I guess that's just me personally. I guess it helps me relate more because I'm Asian. I don't know. Always nice to see some more minority in comics, though. So then we flash back to um, when, before Grayson's parents were together with this people. I was 23 years old when I paid for and when I came to this country. Tony Zuko is violent and possessive, but I had no interest in being possessed. One night he took me to circus. I saw an opportunity, and I took it. So she ran, and Zuko comes looking, yelling melee, melee, and uh, I'm assuming this is John Grayson comes out and says, I'm sorry, sir, can I help you? I know she ran this way, Zuko says. I don't know who you are. You lying to me, kid? And Zuko pulls a gun on um, John and Mary comes out and says, uh, John, Grayson responds with, it's okay, Mary, this guy's not going to hurt anyone. And then John grabs the gun, disarms him, and they get in a fight where Mary and John absolutely slap the shit out of uh, Zuko. And Zuko says, gonna end you, bouncing freak. And Mary yells the gun. And they proceed to take the gun from Zuko. So, 
I guess this is actually really important because it shows that Zuko actually had a reason for killing John and Mary, and it wasn't just out of the blue. It was because they did, they defended, um, I'm assuming at least that they defended uh, Melee from this guy. And um, Haley, of course, the owner of the circus, came and says, basically asks them if they've seen the woman. And they say no. And John says, please accept this oversized fluffy bear and all the condescension that goes with it and gives it to Zuko. Um, the Haley then asks, is she, is she in your trailer? Grayson responds with, of course, good man, look after her. Uh, so then, essentially, Grayson and Maylee, oh, John Grayson, I'll just start saying John, um, have a conversation, they introduce themselves, and I'm assuming they get into a relationship. All right, next page, we have this very nice double spread with acrobatics and different, um, you know, uh, circus things and it's really nice that they specify please understand they weren't together yet so it doesn't turn john into a te- cheater it doesn't tarnish his legacy in any other way it's um just like a short-term thing with the john before she and mary he got with uh mary um however tony this won't last for long uh tony would find um Maylee when she was, when Haley Circus was touring in Star City, and um, Zuko left behind the bear that Grayson had left behind, uh, for or had given Zuko uh, all that time ago. And, um, yeah, then we flip the page, and we see that uh, Maylee has Melinda, who is John Grayson's son, and since Tony was, had such a big ego, he couldn't ask if, or say that, um, the child was John's, but he knew the truth, so, um, eventually, uh, Maylee and Melinda got out, and she brought, uh, Melinda to the circus, but, she found Dick there instead, and you can see Dick getting on the uh, acro- or trapeze bars for the first time, which is a really nice panel. I really like, just like, it's like even more of an origin than for Nightwing than we already have. You just see him swinging for the first time, and him catching his mom. This is a really nice spread, and they say, would you look at that, another flying Grayson? And uh, Maylee thought that since they looked so happy and after everything that they'd done, they didn't deserve, I guess, any more drama than necessary. Uh, she didn't want to cause a rift in between John and Mary. Um, and this is a really nice thing that John says here. I see you already. I did it, Dick says. Uh, you sure did, kiddo. Now comes the easy bit. You have to learn how to fall, but it's okay. We all fall together. Uh, except for when they didn't. Uh, Maylee says, I always plan to come back one day, but before I found the courage, Tony killed them. Zuko knew them. He targeted them. Um, Maylee apologizes to Dick, and Dick says, I'm sorry for what he did to both of us. And, um, Maylee basically asks, have you had a good life? Are you loved? Grayson says, I have, I am. And... Maylee says, and I'm so glad that you and Melinda ha- finally had the chance to meet. I'm very proud of her. She's just been made mayor, you know? I know. It was m- wonderful to meet you, Miss Lynn. And he thinks, and I'm so sorry your daughter is a criminal. Um, Grayson then says, she doesn't know the truth about you, does she? She doesn't know what you really are. Melinda responds with, you don't know what I am. Um, Melinda's bodyguard that says, Melinda, we have a whole lot of trouble. Audrey, what's happening? It's him. It's Blockbuster. And then the issue ends. I would rate this uh, probably an 8 out of 10. It's definitely not as good as the last installment, but I think it's a really nice origin 
for um Melinda. It it it's a very nice orange in for Melinda Zuko, definitely. And it also gives more depth into why Tony Zuko specifically targeted the Flying Graysons. And it just shows how his parents were also heroes in their own right. It also shows some stuff with a young Dick Grayson, which I can appreciate. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for this one. Once again, the art is fantastic. The writing is also good. I just prefer action-packed fight scenes. I think most people could get behind that. And that's why uh, this comic will only be getting an 8 out of 10. But I'm really excited for the next installment in the series. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.